Hey friends, I'm Stacy. And I'm Kevin. And we are doing a cargo camper build. We did it from the ground up. And today we are going to be putting in an outdoor shelf, which with a cargo camper is absolutely essential. And you will love it. Yeah. Comes in very handy. And you can see we had already put some plugs in on the outside for some different appliances and stuff that you might use on the outside. The first step in the shelf is finding the studs. It's really hard for me to find studs. Not just because Eric didn't mark them, but because anytime I use a stud finder, every time I touch, every time I touch the stud finder, it goes off. It's like, it just keeps finding me. And well, actually the first show, the first step is to, to determine uh, where on your, your yeah. camper you're going to put your shelf. And I would suggest that you want to put your shelf very close to your door and also right on this side over here because you're going to use it a lot just coming in and out of your camper. And a couple quick things to remember that when the shelf folds down, it has to have enough room to fold down. So you can't put it too low, too close to your wheel well, uh, because when you go to put it down, it might grab on the wheel well so it's got to be high enough that it can fold up as we do this project for the the products used tools that we use tips and tricks step-by-step -step instruction and more you can go to our website at www.befreebenson.com or you can click on the link in the description so we're going to go ahead and get started first step is we're going to find the studs and also we have to make sure that these are high enough that you can um, that they're not going to touch when they collapse so they'll they'll go all the way down Same thing, we've got 14, well, 16, 32. Okay. Come hold your table up about where you want it. So the next one would be Well, you just need to put it as high as it will so go, like or as low as it'll go. Yeah, well, yeah. it's gonna have to go a little higher than that, about an inch higher than that. You gotta okay. have enough room. Oh, Mom, where do I want it? There? Don't, don't put it up. If you could come over towards the door a little bit more, I think you'd be happy. Here? Yeah, okay. right there. All right, okay. All right, so jump off that. The reason I said that is because then you're next okay, to so the outlet. Okay. All right, so now what I need to do is make sure we're there. So if we have one at 64 and at 32, is that going to be the ones that we want? Yep. All right, so we are going to put these outdoor brackets, outdoor shelf brackets on the side of the escape pod. And what we need to do is we need to get a piece of wood that we cut to the right size. And then, um, so we can add deck over and get it sealed up. So what we're gonna do is we've got a piece of uh, three quarter inch plywood. It's actually very nice plywood, nicer than I would normally use. But because it's a scrap and we've got it left over, we're gonna take this and we're going to use that. We're gonna measure for the length of what we have here, just a, just a touch shy of what we have. And we're going to go ahead and cut this board so that we can be prepared to paint it. So we are going to use black deck over paint from Home Depot. Uh, this is a non-treated piece of plywood. Normally I wouldn't use that. However, even if we use treated stuff, we always put the deck over stuff on it because it just helps it hold up a lot better. So I'm confident that this piece of plywood will hang tight for quite a while after we use the deck over. And once it, uh, and it's a scrap and we don't want to go get new stuff, so we're going to go ahead and use it. If you've never used deck over before, it actually, uh, it puts a very thick coating on top of whatever you're doing and it works real well. Okay, so what I've done is I have come over to where I believe my stud is. And then uh, what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to uh, hold it in place and then screw it in. All right, so one of the things I like to do is put a little aluminum channel underneath the uh, outside bench, or outside bench, underneath the outside shelf, because even though it's plywood, wood always wants to warp, especially when it's black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a couple pieces of this to fit right in between, 
and then I'm gonna pre-drill some screw holes here and screw it up into the bottom. And then I'm gonna do a couple of small pieces off the end here as well, just because it, it helps keep it straighter as it's going on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-drill my holes before I even cut the pieces. I'm gonna pre-drill the holes that we'll use to put the screws up through with. Now I'm going to screw in the board into the brackets, and then we're going to put our reinforcing pieces underneath. But I'm gonna screw this into the brackets first. is complete. Along with bird poop that bird pooped on it. <laughs> quick. Um, and so this is what's so great about this. It's quick and easy. You can do it very fast as you come out. Even if you're like at Walmart and you just quickly come out to your camper and you got a bunch of bags and you need to set them down before you put them in, you quickly do it and it puts right back down and stores away easily. So the shelf is a success for more videos like that made noise for more videos like this you can click on the video on the screen or you can go to our channel and click on one of our playlists and again for all the tools and products used in this in this project along with tips and tricks and step-by-step -step instruction and more you can go to our website at www.bfreebenson.com and we'll link it in the description below and if you found value in this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and also subscribe to our channel. And as always, doing things yourself saves you money and allows you to be free. See you in the next video. Be free. <laughs> How about that? I whooped it out. Now what I'm gonna do. Um, excuse me. Good Lord. How do you look bloody so because I had a friggin' piece of uh, <laughs> a shard of aluminum on my hand. I wiped wipe my nose and I cut my friggin' oh, nose. Oh, Eric, be careful. Sorry. One of my favorite parts of our cargo camper is our shelf that is on the outside. You guys don't have a shelf yet. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> So we don't have a shelf on the escape pod yet, but today we are going to put a shelf on the escape pod. We don't have one, but we will. You also have something in your tooth.